Ethel Riley here, inspired by design for the month of May, and it's all about flower walls. Flower walls are the rage this year, and there's a lot of different ways to make a flower wall. Here, I have left the mechanics bare to kind of show you how we put this together. This is a concept of something that could be reused again. It's simply made on uh, the two inch thick sheets of styrofoam, and then we framed it out with some one by fours. I actually used my inspiration from a clothes rack, so that's what this is built on, but you could find lots of different things to build a flower wall that's lightweight, that you could deliver easily for anything from a wedding to an event, you could make a, a photo backdrop. Uh, there's a lot of uses for the flower wall, and we're using minimal flowers on this, but most importantly, I wanted to show you the mechanics here. What we've done is we have... Um, taken the Oasis Igloo cages and pre-soaked them. And then we're simply just attaching them with hot melt pan glue and cowie picks. I like to put the cowie picks in at an angle. It just helps hold the cage on better. And then we're cutting those off. And that's how we're attaching the foam that will hold our flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and green this up and then we'll be back with more flowers. Now that we've mossed the wall, we can begin designing our flowers into the wall. And I like to use a little bit of cascading uh, elements to kind of fill in some of the negative space and not have so much moss showing. So we're gonna work a little bit of pepperberry in. And again, we're just creating as we go. The hanging amaranthus is also really good as a space filler for something like this. So I'm also gonna add some of the alocasia foliage or African mass just to give it a little bit of extra texture and design. Working some calla lilies in for some nice line. Kind of creating a nice horizontal movement. So as you can see this come together, we really are using just a minimal amount of product and you can see already how the flower wall is starting to take shape. I'm gonna work some of this amazing uh, peach bottle brush protea into the wall. I just think it's such a conversation piece. Really blends nicely with the color palette that we're working with. And every now and then I think it's good to have some depth so some of the flowers can come forward a little bit more off of your cage. A little bit of garden roses to add a nice focal. So we've got a great color palette going on right now with the pinks and the peaches. It's really popping against that uh, bright green moss color. A nice little pop of color to add in here is going to be these purple Macara orchids. And you know, sometimes we have this little wispy, weedsy part of the orchid that I always think is important to take off every now and then. Grooming our flowers is always important. Kind of creating a waterfall effect. So now I'm gonna add some of these uh, Vanda orchids. And Vandas are one of those pricier flowers and I think a lot of times you can get away with just adding just a small, you know, bloom by bloom, just a small amount of them to, and really, they really make a show. So 
So as you can see, a flower wall doesn't have to be about tons of flowers. We've really created some depth. We've really created some conversation piece in some of the flowers that we've used today. I hope this inspires you to come up with your own version of a flower wall, and we'll see you back here next month with more awesome blossoms.